Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I am continuing my coverage of GraphRag, which is a stellar tool from Microsoft to do retrieval augmented generation in a new style, which is a graph. If you want to learn more about the architecture, underlying intricacies and how it works more, then please search my channel with GraphRag. I have done heaps of videos in the last few days where I have gone into way more detail about everything related to GraphRag. In very simple words, GraphRag allows you to do retrieval augmented generation on the basis of graph theory where we have entities and their relationships. In this video, I am going to show you how you can do this graph fragging by using local llama.cpp server and then with llama.cpp you can use any GGUF model for and this will be for the inference model for the embedding um, sorry this will be for the embedding model for the inference one you can still use grok you can use olama you can use openai whatever you like i already have covered all of those in my other video so please do check them out for the purpose of this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick inference model as grok's api for embedding model i'm going to go with llama.cpp embedding model and i will just pick any random model from hugging face which has the embedding and then i will use it locally now if you don't know what llama.cpp is llama.cpp is one of the oldest library which is used to do llm inference with minimal setup and state-of-the-art performance on a variety of hardware including cpu apple silicon nvidia gpu amd gpu in any quantization level from 1.5 bit to 8 bit i already have done yet another latest video on llama.cpp this morning just a couple of hours ago which you can check out where i have shown you how to install llama.cpp locally in a very very easy way so if you don't know how to install it please search the channel and should be able to find it just in today's date also so this is for the embedding model for the inference model i'm just going to go with grok again i have discussed grok a lot on my channel i will be using grok's api and i will be describing all the setup which i'm going to do so you would you should be able to follow it for this video you would need to go to grok.com g-r-o-q.com and i will drop the link in video description from where you would need to grab your free api key and that is what we are going to use with grok based models if you still want to use local model as i mentioned earlier you can install olama and use that and i already have covered how to do that on the channel so please search it out with graph rag and you should be able to find it before I show you the installation and the whole setup, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the GPU and VM for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Okay, so that said and done. Now, let's go to my local terminal and then we will start cracking on it. Let's wait for it to load. It is going to take a bit of a time. So this is my Ubuntu system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. And let me also show you my GPU card where I'm running NVIDIA RTX 6000 courtesy Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen. So I already have installed llama.cpp and as I mentioned earlier, if you don't if you don't know how to install it, please search the channel. It's very simple by the way. So let me start the llama.cpp server now for the purpose of this video what i'm going to do is i'm just using this llama dash server which is llama.cpp server that is going to use this model which i already have downloaded from hugging face and then i'm just setting the context length and i am using the embeddings from this model so this will be used as embedding model let me run it it is it has loaded the model locally and then it is going to start it at port 8080 as you can see here and on my local host so llama.cpp is running and it is serving that model on my local system which we can access so i will be using this api um, base to call this model as an embedding model okay let me take you to another terminal window to the same server and then we are going to install graph rag and then we will point to this embedding model and to our grok api model 
in the another terminal so let me move on to the other terminal okay so this is my another terminal which you can see on screen let me create a conda environment which will keep everything separate from my local system let's wait for it to finish and that is done let me clear the screen okay so that is done our llama's cpp server is running our conda environment is done let's install graph rag in this conda environment by doing pip install graph rag let's wait for it to finish should it take too long so graph rag is installed let me clear the screen and now for the purpose of this video first let me describe what i'm going to do so i already have this simple text file fast.txt where i have put in all my personal information as what i do about my youtube channel where i live and this is what uh, the file which I'm going to use for ragging with the help of this file I'm going to ask the question from LLM and LLM will have context from this file so this is what we are going to do and as I mentioned in my previous video what graph rag is going to do it is going to extract entities and their relationship from this file and then it will be more grounded in its responses whenever someone asks a question about myself so for this let's create a directory I'm just creating a directory with the name rag test with some input directory. Let's copy my fahad.txt in that input directory. And that is all done. Let's initialize the graph rag with that directory which we have just created by doing this. And I'm just using graph rag.index. It is going to read that input file and create an index on top of it. Let's wait for it to get created shouldn't take too long and there you go so it has been initialized let me clear the screen let's go into this rack test and now here you need to do two things first there should be an env file so let's open that env file here you would need to put in your grox api key so go to grok.com sign up if you don't have already grab your free key and save it here so i will save it later and then i'll save it Another thing which we need to do is to open this settings.yaml file and let me quickly go to the top. So here I'm going to use model as mixtrol from Grox API and I will put in more parameters. So and then I will be setting sorry up this embeddings part. Embedding is simply a numerical representation of your data and the model which we use for creating converting those text data into numerical representation or embedding is called as embedding model so i will be changing this so let me put the new settings file here and i will save and i will show you what it means and don't worry all of these commands all of these files i'm going to put them in my blog and i will drop the link to all of it in video description so that you can copy paste and just reproduce it okay so let me um, first put my key in that dot .env file and I'll save and exit and I will then create this settings dot file and I will show you how it looks like okay so this is my settings dot yaml file and if you go through it what has happened has and what changes what, what has changed is this model is mixed on and then this is the API based to grok instead of openai and the great thing is that grok is compatible and then there are a few other parameters to make sure that we don't get throttled by Grok because it's a free API. They only give us 5000 tokens. And that is why we need to make sure that if it if it is throttling us, then we should uh, retry back. And then some retries and stuff. And then if you come down in the embedding section again, API base, I'm just pointing you to localhost at port 8080 wherever llama.cpp server is running. Rest you can leave it as is. They are compatible so the, they should be able to pick it up and this is you can just leave it as is okay so let me exit from here and then this is all the configuration you need to do so let's go one step back let's clear the screen and now let's run the uh, graph rack and in order to run the graph rack all you need to do is to run this command and let's wait for it it is going to initialize it and then it is going to do all the entity relationship and all that stuff and meanwhile this happens i will also show you 
my other screen where it is also going to do some stuff let's wait for it to finish from here I'll move forward and this is what our other screen looks like where you see the model has loaded and it is initializing the slots and then it is ready for our API so let's wait for it it is still extracting the entities with the help of our grok model and then it will move on to the embedding model and then we will see activity at that llama.cpp so you see now it is at the embedding stage if i take you to the other screen you see now it is doing the embedding stuff it is still running it is still running here too this is our actual graph rag happening and this is where our llama.cpp server is serving it so you can see that in real time so let's wait for it to finish and there you go it is almost done now it is generating the reporting let me also show you the llama.cpp server it has served it which is great let's go here and all the workflows are done successfully amazing stuff okay now we can try out some of the queries with graphrag so if you remember what we did here is we were um, we gave it my own file so i'm asking it questions about myself so i'm asking it who is fahad mirza first i'm going to go back at global it is going to also search the internet and all that stuff and if you want to know there is two methods global and local and i have already have described the difference in my other videos so in detail so please check it out so you see it is using the crocs api it is doing the global search and this will be more comprehensive answer so let's wait for it to come back and there you go so the answer is there and you see that it has um use that grok api mixed all model and the global search response is quite comprehensive it has said that who is mirza's youtube channel is this and that and then he's a key figure oh my god okay and computer science community with a significant platform and reach through anyway so you see uh, it has also told us about entities and relationships cool let's do the local search now and you see the method is now local let me run it and now I'm, I have just expanded my question. So there are two questions. Who is Fahad Mirza and where does he live? So it is going to check the local file. You see it is re reading the statics.jml. It is creating the embedding client. And there you go. It's all local. And then first questions answers about myself that who is Fahad Mirza. Also about who, what are the relationship and stuff. And then where he lives, living in Sydney. And then the sources are there too. Data sources and then all the data set provided then where exactly it is coming from and then towards the end there is a summary too so that's it guys this is with llama.cpp and now you have various tools to play around with you can do llama.cpp you can do olama you can do lm studio you can do grok you can purely go with olama if you can go with uh, openai sky is the limit here so have fun enjoy i hope that you enjoyed it and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.